Now, floating in the deep end. President Ronald Reagan's daughter, Patty Davis, says that life became so unbearable that she once considered suicide. Ironically, despite an often tumultuous relationship with her family, it was her father's Alzheimer's diagnosis that may have actually saved her life. And today, she is sharing her lessons learned from that very poignant period in their lives. Alzheimer's is gonna strip someone down to the essence of who they are. That can be a good thing or that can be a bad thing, <laughs> right? My father was a very sweet, gentle person. So that made it a lot easier. Easier, but not easy especially at first, because when President Reagan went public with his Alzheimer's diagnosis in 1994, Patty was at a very low point in her life, even contemplating suicide. It was kind of like everything I touched went bad. I just couldn't do anything right. I really was thinking, I just don't wanna be here anymore. But Patty says her father's grace in the face of Alzheimer's actually sparked a change in her. My despair and everything I was going through kind of paled in comparison. I thought, I want to be here for this. I've gotten so many things wrong in my life. I've got to get this one thing right. Getting it right meant being there for her father, no matter what came her way. While his body and mind may have been fading, Patty was adamant his soul wasn't. We're not just our cognitive thought. There is a soul in there. There are emotions. There is still a human being in there a human being who can feel your demeanor. So if you're tense or upset or rigid, they're gonna feel that. Patty's journey with her father is detailed in her new book, Floating in the Deep End, How Caregivers Can See Beyond Alzheimer's. One significant lesson learned. As long as you can continue to allow that person to have the structure in their lives that they're used to, it's good for them. While there are no definitive answers, Patty says to stop a dementia sufferer from repeating something over and over. Show them something different, redirect their mind. Usually it's changing the scenery. And while we're usually brought up to just tell the truth, when it comes to caring for an Alzheimer's patient. Lying is a really good tool. If someone believes that they are 16 years old again, who cares? Let them be 16. Don't tell them that they're actually 80. Patty says she wrote this book to help caregivers, of course, but she also wants to bring awareness to the fact caregivers themselves are not given enough care. While she no longer runs her own Beyond Alzheimer's support group, she believes hospitals adopting her concept would be a tremendous help. Ronald Reagan died in 2004. Patty's biggest takeaway from the 10 years of helping to care for her father. Step back, take a wider view, and say there's always a different way of looking at this. Patty Davis's book, Floating in the Deep End, How Caregivers Can See Beyond Alzheimer's, from Liberate Publishing, is available for you now. And for more from the prolific author, you can check out her Facebook page.